Hi, this is Ian, your SDMLS specialist. Let's talk about how to use the advanced search options in Paragon. For mastery of this and all topics, please remember to play, pause, and practice. To start with your advanced options, we'll need to get to a search page. Today, we're going to click on the search and choose residential to open our default residential search. Let's scroll down until we get to the additional criteria container. The additional criteria container has a few fields that we're going to look at today. One of them is the remarks. The remarks field gives you an opportunity to search through listing inputs for specific words. For instance, if you are looking for a fixer, you may want to include the word fixer. And you can tap your enter key to enter in that word. You'll notice that there is a little light blue bubble around it. You may want to also add in TLC. Maybe you may want to put a handyman's. We'll put in handyman here. And this is a great example. How did the agent, the listing agent, spell handyman? Was it with one word as I spelled it? Maybe it was two words. Maybe they were feeling special and decided to put an I. We don't really know. It may be a better option to choose to just put the word hand. Now, bear in mind that handrail could also come up, but depending upon what you're searching for, you may want to leave your options open. Let's go ahead and just leave this with hand. I'm going to quickly type in some other criteria to narrow our results. And now let's go ahead and click on search to see what we get. Now we typed in TLC, we typed in fixer, and we also have the word hand typed into our remarks. So as we click here to open up the remarks section, let's take a look. We can see here this one definitely says TLC. Let's advance to our next. And in this, we can see that we have Fixer listed. And let's go to one more. And here again, we're going to find one of our keywords that was typed in. The other way that we can use our advanced search options would be to use the features field. The features are going to be the most commonly used on your search page. You'll notice that there are three fields. There's must have, must not have, must have one or more. If you select an item in the must have column, of course, it must be included in your property results. If you pick more than one item, they all must be included on, in your property results. The same goes for must not have. With must have one or more, what this means is that your property will be guaranteed to have at least one of the items selected. Now, as you can see, there is a cursor here in this box after I clicked. You can simply type into the field. For example, let's type the word pool. What I'd like to show you here are your results. You have a few letters, numbers, there's one here that says pool. This is pool spa equipment. 
This is negative edge, infinity pool. Well, which one should you choose? And Lord knows we definitely don't want this one. So what I recommend is rather than typing into this field, I highly recommend that you use the magnifying glass. Let's click here and I'll show you why. When you do, you're going to see a list of all of your features. Bear in mind that these codes here that precede all of the headings are the two letter codes that match what you will see when you go to your listing input form. Your listing input forms can be found under the MLS documents and then MLS input forms and in this case residential. So again, let's go back over here to features and let's look for pool. So let's scroll down until we get to the pool. Here we are. When you find the feature that you're looking for, let's click on the expand collapse button to reveal the choices. Here you have it. Maybe my client is happy with and with a below ground pool or an exercise pool or a lap pool. Let's add those choices and click save. You'll see quickly we've entered into must have one or more. This would mean that as long as the results have one of these items selected, you will see it listed in our list of results. Let's open up features and come back down to AZ pool. I want you to take notice of where these dots are. If we were to move these over here, this would mean that the home we're looking for would have to have a below ground pool, an exercise pool, and a lap pool. And of course, that's most likely not going to be found. Let's remove these items here in remarks to see if we can find some results for our features. Simply just hit your backspace. And it looks like we have found one, at least in uh, North Park, that has either a below ground, an exercise, or a lap pool. Let's hit search to get to our results. And here we have it. Again, let's click on to open up our agent report and then we'll quickly notice that our pool option is right here below ground and also community common pool. This has been how to use your advanced search options. For help with other topics, please visit us at sdmls.com, click on the Paragon icon in the top left corner, and then select Training Videos. This has been Ian, your SDMLS specialist, reminding you to play, pause, and practice.